Hi, I'm Charlie Nardozzi of the National Gardening Association. Today I'd like to talk to you about controlling slugs and snails in the garden. Slugs and snails are a plague in many gardens across the country, especially in the spring and fall, but even in the mild winter areas of the Pacific Northwest. These slimy critters are actually related to escargot, but I wouldn't want to eat one of these things. You'll find them a lot of times in your garden on the leaves of basil, lettuce, marigolds, but especially on hosta leaves. Now, if you're wondering if it's slugs or snails causing the damage on your hosta leaves, come out at night with a flashlight. Turn the leaves over and a lot of times you'll find them munching right underneath them. The key to controlling slugs and snails in the garden is understanding them. They love a cool, damp, dark area. So if you can plant your plants a little further apart, remove any mulch that's in there and cultivate regularly around there, you're going to create a warm, dry area that they're not going to like and they're going to go somewhere else. That being said, there are many tactics you can employ to control slugs and snails. Here are three of the best. The first one involves a barrier. Now, slugs are soft-bodied little critters, and they don't like to crawl over sharp things. So if you can get some crushed eggshells, sharp sand, or crushed oyster shells and sprinkle them around your plants, they're not going to want to cross that line. For containers, a great barrier to use is copper flashing. Just stick the copper flashing along the top of the pot. Now slugs are very watery and copper conducts electricity. So when the slug comes up and tries to cross the copper, it gets a little electric shock and goes elsewhere. Another method to use is traps. Of course, there's a famous beer trap. Slugs love beer, but it doesn't like them. You can use your homemade variety or you can use a commercial variety of beer trap. Let me show you how to set it up. You want to set up your beer trap right close to the hostas or other plants that you have. You want to pour the beer into the trap so it's about a half inch from the top. What ends up happening is that the slugs come over to get the beer and they reach in there and they fall in and they drown. Once the trap is filled up with beer, you want to cover it up and then move it close to where the plants are where the slugs are going to be. In the morning you'll see it'll be loaded with dead slugs. You might even get 40 or 50 of them. One of my favorite ways to control slugs is with an organic bait. And the best one to use is this iron phosphate bait. Now these are simply little pellets that actually have a slug attractant in them that they can't resist. They come over and they start munching on them, but they also have iron phosphate in them. And the iron phosphate is toxic to slugs, even though it's safe for birds, for kids, for animals, and for wildlife. So simply take it and sprinkle it around your hosta plant or whatever plant you have, and you'll see you'll have much less damage. And of course, you'll have to reapply it after a heavy rain. So whether it be barriers, traps, or baits, there's lots of ways to control snails and slugs in your yard. For more information on controlling these pests and lots of other ones, visit our how-to library at www.garden.org.